I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Persona 5. We have to gain Akechi's intel and we have to find the true culprit. So if you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody sit back, relax, and enjoy because here comes more Persona 5. The festival seems to be a success. There's definitely a lot more people than last year. Well, yeah. This place got famous and all. Phantom Thieves, Kamoshida, Principal Kobayakawa. On top of that, we got a catchy as a guest. Yep. There may be police officers in plain clothes, too. Actually, they probably are here. We better be careful about what we discuss. Acting like normal students is going to be important. What do you normally do at a school festival? Get Liddy. Look around at the exhibits and eat stuff? There's no rules. Remember when we went to the beach before? Why not go about it like that? Ryuji's right. Just enjoy yourself. We need to stay on our toes. Yeah, we gotta stay frosty. I know that. There's a possibility that both your names have come up during the course of the investigation. Yeah. A number of the teachers had been questioned before, and even we were interviewed the other day too. Don't let your guard down too much. It's true that the initial members have been at this for a long time, making it easier to get tracked. All right. Now, now, let's leave it at that. We just need to be mindful about what we're saying, correct? Oh, um... You seem to be having quite a lot of fun, Haru. You did mention that you were looking forward to this. I want to go around with everyone, and eat at the refreshment stands. Well, it'll be a nice change of pace. A lot of nasty stuff's continued lately. Shall we head off to the stands then? Yep, let's do it. All right. This is your first time at our school festival. I know, I'm trying to turn up, so let's go. They're pretty good, from what I've heard. I know a great one. Follow me. Man, I bet you it's gonna be super whack. Oh yeah, I can already tell it's this gonna be is whack. Place. Made takoyaki? Even the name is whack. New customers! I'll show you all to your seats. So, it's your classes stand. It's still a refreshment stand, isn't it? It's like a deserted island here. <laughs> Well, I guess it's good for talking since there aren't any people here. We heard a lot of rumors even on our way here. And it was all bullshit. Here she comes. Act normal. Who cares? There's nothing normal about this anymore. Welcome home. May I take your order? Welcome home? This ain't my home. Take my order? W what happened to the maid atmosphere? There are a lot of odd flavors. Stick to a normal one. I bet they... I'm so sorry. We sold our last normal one to the previous customer. The hell? Well then, I'll have the mentai cheese takoyaki. I'm sorry. We're out of cod bro. Then how about the squid? Um, we're currently out catching squid. It'll probably take another five or six hours. If you don't even have anything, then what good are you? That doesn't even sound remotely possible. Ain't this whole menu just a sham? This place sucks. Actually, we spent most of our budget on making the maid costumes look nice. They're not even that nice, though. We didn't put too much effort into the octopus. Oh, I can see that. <laughs> Ryuji, you're making a scene. Then, what would you recommend with what you have now? That would be the Russian takoyaki. We'll have that, please. This will take a little time. Russian takoyaki? Uh, let's forget about the octopus the and get that? back on topic. On that note, hearing Kamoshida being almost treated like a victim makes me want to eat my stress away. I've even heard conjecture that the principal was targeted for reasons like he knew too much. I kept hearing about Goro Akechi's popularity. All thanks to the Phantom Thieves. You know, did that Akechi guy agree to show up here because he believes we didn't kill anybody? Or he may simply love large gatherings. Oh, true. He didn't seem like he minded being pampered by the media at all. 
We plan on stealing intel, but we might fall into another trap. I'm gonna be bummed if that happens. Hell no. That is possible. Is the takoyaki done yet? Hell no. I'm of the same mind. Yup, up top, Makoto. Still, it doesn't change the fact that we don't know what Akechi-kun is planning. Thank you for the wait. That's the Russian takoyaki? What the? Ooh, it's fresh made. Lies, I heard a microwave go off. <laughs> well, it's not like I was expecting crispy takoyaki at a school festival or anything. So, what makes this a Russian takoyaki? It makes it a Russian takoyaki because she was Russian making it. You know what I'm saying, guys? Okay, I'll stop. Could there be jam in it as a secret ingredient? That sounds quite delicious. Ew, no, it does not. Well, one of these is special. Uh, one of them's obviously red. That's got to be the one. Dude, don't tell me the Russian part means... It's like going for the obvious one is manly. Is that so? Well, I'd prefer the most beautifully shaped one. But all of them are misshapen. <laughs> oh, aren't you all going to eat? I think I'll go for the special one. Wait, is she honestly going for it? I want to go for it. Do you want to go for the red one? Yes, I do. No, thank you. I'll take it. Oh, yeah, look, he's stretching. Ooh, he's preparing himself. As always. Yeah, thank you, On. You know. You know how I do. Oh, everyone's all here. Oh, this fuck weasel. The, the panel isn't until tomorrow, though. I came to check out the venue. I can't make any mistakes, since a lot of people will be present. Someone's eager. But people ended up recognizing me. Everyone bombarded me with questions. That's because you were sloppy. I grew tired of the baseless rumors they kept bringing up. So I escaped to where there weren't any people. I'm going to have one of these. Wow. You can't <gasps> ask? One. Whatever. Let's you just got the call red this one. my performance fee. But it's fine. Hmm. It's quite the <laughs> <laughs> Sucker. Eating it in one bite is a bad idea. <gasps> my throat. This is Oh, stop being a little pussy boy. <sighs> Oh, my stomach. It burns. Talk about Are being okay? dramatic. Do you need water? Uh, 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 I'm, I'm fine. Uh, I just love uh, spicy, uh, spicy stuff. Oh, yeah, I can tell. <laughs> hey, does he sound broken to you? Well, then, I'll, I'll see you uh, t -t -t tomorrow. <laughs> wow, he's really trying to hold it together. He's waddling around like some comedian. It's like he wants to get picked up for some commercial or something. But did he truly come to simply check the venue? Uh, this isn't good. I keep suspecting every little thing. I know what you mean. I'm doing the same too. I need to do my best tomorrow. We need to somehow get him to be our source of intel. I'm gonna pull this off no matter what. That Akechi guy, when he got here, didn't he say that everyone's all here? Everyone? Ooh. That is true. You're, you're just imagining things. Nah, I don't think Futaba imagines. She wouldn't say that if he didn't actually say that. So does he know? Does he know? Mm. So I guess we got through all of it okay? Yes, but the associated mental fatigue was extraordinary. Being cautious takes a lot out of you. Seriously, I think I'm as tired now as I am after midterms. <laughs> I didn't mind any of that. I just love seeing that detective gulp down that special takoyaki. <laughs> I had fun as well, since I got to spend time with you all. What would you like to do now, Haru? Walk around a little more? I appreciate the gesture. But I'm satisfied with stopping here. Why don't we go home and rest up? We'll have to deal with the catchy kun again tomorrow, after all. I have to agree. What will this next move be? I don't know. 
but I'm also a fan of spicy stuff. But instead of like, you know, getting all shaky and being a little bitch boy like a catchy, I just get the hiccups really, really bad. And I can't stop hiccuping until I drink like milk or water or something. Tomorrow's the moment of truth. A catchy's panel. Yes, so that means I can't go downstairs, right? Hey. Because you're the boss of me? Okay, let's go to sleep. You got it, dude. Oh. Shouldn't you give it nutrients? Yes. I gotta feed the plantum thief. And the plantum oh. thief's like, thank you, Z-Coon. You're amazing. These are more reasonably priced nutrients. This ought to bring a bit of life back to this plant. Come on, rank up. Rank up for me one time. No, oh, come on. I need that level four kindness. That should do it for a while. Okay, so a catchy's panels tomorrow. Let's go to sleep and let's get it started. Well then, we will now begin today's panel. Our guest of honor is Goro Akechi. I feel kind of bad considering how many people have gathered. I'm sure you all would have been happier to have a singer or a mascot appear, wouldn't you say? Yeah, you're right about that. Get off the stage. We'd appreciate if you could tell us about your experiences with the notorious Phantom Thieves. It'd be wonderful if you could let us hear more about your actual investigative process. I'm not used to being the one interrogated, so please go easy on me. Oh, we got a real comedian over here. Yeah, chuck it up. How yeah. much do you think he knows? Shut up, Akechi. He talks about the Phantom Thieves are dangerous, yet he says they haven't committed any murders. Either he has an idea who the true culprit is, or he has uncovered the identities of the Phantom Thieves. Come on, Makoto. You gotta get it out of him. As much as you're allowed to say, would you tell us how far along your investigation is on them? Getting right to the point, I see. Well, if it's as much as I'm allowed to say, then everything on TV and the internet is all of it. We don't have any leads yet, and the methods behind their crimes are still unclear. I see. Even with this country's power, arresting them is proving to be difficult. Is that the case? I wouldn't phrase it that way, but, well, something like that. Thank you for answering that question. By the way, it seems you've denied a correlation between the Phantom Thieves and the murders. Why the sudden change? Until now, haven't you upheld your stance that the Phantom Thieves are dangerous? How are you so positive that they haven't committed murder? Are you a little too comfortable interrogating people? Why, it's as if you're a prosecutor. Uh-oh. Excuse me, this is something I've personally been interested in, so I couldn't help it. Why does the audience keep laughing? It wasn't even funny! But won't you tell us? What reason is there that you'd claim their innocence when you previously stated they were unjust? Mako-chan's really pressing for an answer. She's pelting him with questions. Every person whose heart they changed have truly been criminals, including Okumura. Why then was he the only one who needed to be killed? Why is that? I must admit, I couldn't deduce a reason. That's why I believe that, that case should be thought of as if a different party is responsible. And if, this is all hypothetical, mind you, if the Phantom Thieves are the ones I know of, I can't possibly imagine they would kill anyone. Your comment just now, does this mean the police have already identified who they are? Oh, no. The police haven't gotten that far yet. But I have my own conclusions about the true identities of the Phantom Thieves. Uh-oh. He's gotta be bluffing. Pipe down. He's lying, right? But if it's the truth... You're not going to ask me who they are? Oh, shit! It may have repercussions on the investigation. Are you sure you can share that with us? It's only my personal opinion. So announcing that here wouldn't pose a problem. However, there is a possibility that everyone present will hear the truth before the police or media. I think he knows. The truth? What's he planning on saying? Quite the confidence you have. If you're so certain, then very well. I'd like to ask you then. Who do you think the Phantom Thieves are, Akechi san? That idiot! No. There's no way he could have any evidence. They're people you all know quite well. The identity of the Phantom Thieves are. Ah, uh, it's 
Oh, I saved by the I bell. I apologize for the interruption, but I can't turn off my phone due to my job. Would you mind if I step away for about ten minutes or so? I'm terribly sorry, everyone, but we'll be taking a break. Taking a break for a booty call? We'll okay. We'll resume the panel in ten minutes. Please don't troll me online for this interruption, <laughs> okay? Okay, that was a little funny. I'll give a catchy that one. Is there a room I may use? There's the PE faculty office. I want you to come too. There's a matter I want to discuss. Oh shit. Your friends from yesterday are here, aren't they? Can you bring them too, if that's all right? He knows. He knows. Did you set this up? We only have 10 minutes, you know. Ooh, you said we only got 10 minutes, baby. We only got Diaz Menuto, see? I know some Spanish, guys. I'm bilingual. What do you want to talk about? No. <laughs> Freaking Yusuke, I knew it. That's gotta be shocked. I have video footage too. Please, let's not feign ignorance. All of you can go to that other world too. Yes. What are you talking about? Us too? Which world? Yeah, world two? What does that mean? It's not just all of you. I am aware of that world too. I also know that when you traverse over there, your appearance changes as well. It's because of those mysterious powers, isn't it? I found out about that world about a month ago. This had been installed onto my phone without my knowledge. How? Dude, it's the nav. When the app activated on its own, the scenery around me suddenly changed. Quite frankly, I still can't believe it myself. But from the look of these photos, all of you seem quite used to it. We've been listening to you blab on for a while now, but cut the delusional... All of you are acting as phantom thieves in the metaverse. I can say so with conviction because I have the same power as you. It's not us. That's right. You know what? No use denying it now. When he has the hand on the chin, that means he knows for certain that we're the Phantom Thieves. So that's right. You right. So you admit it then. In all honesty, I've been curious about you since the time of the Matarame case. But to think it would end up like this. We didn't kill anyone. I believe that as well. Nice. How can you be so sure? Because I saw another. The real culprit. For real? Who was it? I couldn't identify his face. He had a mask on, after all. Actually, when I took these photos, I entered that world, too. That's when I saw someone else moving about, besides all of you. He shot at me the moment he noticed me. That looks cool, though. That's who killed President Okumura? Most likely. At the very least, I was almost killed by him. I can't die here. I need to determine the truth. When those thoughts overcame me, I awakened to that power. A most fortunate accident. This guy has a persona too? Th this cat. I swear, it just talked. <laughs> Morgana, our teammate who taught us about the metaverse. Really? This is unbelievable. But it is true that you know things that I don't. Say, Morgana, were you also the one who instructed them on how to change people's hearts? I experienced that world too, but I still haven't solved that mystery yet. We go in the metaverse, or we call them palaces, to steal the core of their desires, their treasure, and those whose treasure has been stolen have a change of heart. Ah. <laughs> There's certainly no way anyone could figure out such an M.O. Anyways, back to what you were talking about. Are we in this mess because of that guy? Although I don't completely understand the method, all you do is simply reform people. Someone else is behind the murders. However, the police have decided that the Phantom Thieves did it. They'll arrest you at this rate. They're going to treat me as my father's murderer? I can't overlook such a grave mistake, which is precisely why I want us to strike a deal. Oh, a deal. I'm able to save of course. You from this situation. A deal? 
I would like you to cooperate with me on investigating the truth. And if we decline? Then we're and fucked. I think I'll have to inform Capital the police F. about all of you. Along with that video I mentioned. This ain't no deal, it's blackmail! Yep. Say what you will. This is the method that I believe is correct. The justice I uphold will not tolerate criminals who kill people at their leisure. Justice. Justice. You've heard that sai -san is the one spearheading the investigation about you phantom thieves, correct? The higher-ups are concerned only with settling the case. They want to capture the culprits behind the psychotic breakdown incidents and end the commotion. Those are the ones who are putting pressure on sai -san. I can only imagine her impatience. What of evidence that we did it? How do they intend on proving it? Even if there's no objective explanation to the method, it's over once causality is established. There's no way they can prove that though because they can't get into that world. sai -san can't make rational judgments at the moment. If she were to be cornered, well, she may even make up a confession. Make it up? So, they're gonna make it all our fault? And just cause they feel like it? We haven't killed anyone though! And we're still going to be arrested? You'll be found guilty if you're caught. And it will be treated as a very serious crime. No shit. Bullshit! None of that makes any sense! Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do alone anymore to stop the flow of things. And that's why you want our cooperation. Yes. In return, I'll turn a blind eye to what you've done. Those are my conditions. That said, I ask that you disband the Phantom Thieves after this. What should we do about akechi sans proposal? I don't want to disband the Phantom Thieves. Let me think it over. You're demanding a lot. Is that the only way? I can understand how you feel. It must be hard making a decision on the spot like this. Well, you don't have to decide at the moment. Considering this is you we're talking about, I believe you'll come to a favorable reply. I can sense a bond of trust coming from Akechi. Okay, here we go. Wind it up! And yes! Justice! Rank 5 with Garo Akechi. Alright! All right. I'm glad we could talk. It's been a while since I've been able to spend such a meaningful time like this. I look forward to your answer. It was definitely worth coming today. For various reasons. We should be getting back. About that. I'm sorry. Would it be acceptable if we ended the panel here? The reason why you called for me in the first place was because you wanted intel. Correct? Damn, this guy is too good. My business is concluded as well. I'll deal with it somehow. Damn it! He had complete control over us! He was the smartest person in the room. Damn. So if we don't do what he says... Hey, they're going! He's gonna put out a video that exposes all of them. But if we cooperate with him, then that means we have to disband the Phantom Thieves, but we won't get arrested. I don't want to disband the Phantom Thieves, but I guess that's the only way. What the hell? Oh, I thought they were going to the metaverse. I was like, what? <laughs> oh, man. Freaking Akechi. I'm sorry about the sudden break. An urgent task came in. So, I truly apologize about this, but I'll have to end things here today. To make up for the time that was planned for this panel, the Rakugo Research Club will instead be... I can't say anything in detail regarding the Phantom Thieves' investigation, but I feel another great stride will occur again soon. I hope you all continue to pay attention to what happens. Let's have a big round of applause for today's guest, Goro Akechi. I guess. I guess. Was that really our best course of action? He totally used Makoto's suggestion against us. Yep. Indeed. We intended to get intel out of him, but to think it would play out like this. So what? We'll just accept his deal? He's got evidence on us. We really don't have a choice. Damn it! What are we gonna do? Calm we just down, gotta cooperate. How am I supposed to calm down? What are we gonna do? 
What's done is done. We'll have to cool our heads and think more on this. We must make up our minds by the time he contacts us again. We need to give this a lot of thought. I don't really think there's much to think about. You either help him or you go to jail. It's as simple as that. Similar occurrences followed in succession earlier this spring. Although things have quieted down until recently, several incidents have occurred once again. Furthermore, new information has come to light about the suspect who suffered sudden mental shutdown. He had received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. Oh shit. Why did Futaba have something like this? Oh, I thought the calling card was for him. <laughs> if a calling card was delivered, we can only assume that the Phantom Thieves are behind it. If so, those occurrences back in spring can be attributed to them as well. Moreover... I knew it. She's... No. Oh, God. It's not what you think, Sajiro. Calm down. Go make some coffee. Go eat some curry. This guy, he better not fuck things up for us. The post-festival party is about to begin in the gymnasium. Please join us, everybody. Oh, party? What? What? The post-festival party is about to begin. Would you like to go together? I tried to think about what happened earlier, but that has gotten me nowhere. So, I could use a change of pace. How about it? I should go to the post-festival party with Haru. Sure, let's go. Thank you! I'll be waiting at the gymnasium. I should head to the gym. Alright, that was a great performance by the dance club. Everybody give them another round of applause. I guess. I'm sorry. I can't stop thinking about what Akechi-kun said. It'll be alright. I'm worried. Don't think about that now. It'll be alright. <laughs> it feels like nothing bad could ever happen when you say that. And now it's time for your favorite shooting tradition! The Student Sharing Special! Student Sharing Special? What is that? Round of applause, everyone! Ugh! Sharing? I never knew we had such an event. Me too. Alright, who has something to say? Anyone? Anyone? No? I'll just have to pick someone then. Oh, he's going to choose? I wonder who it would be. How about that fluffy haired girl over there? I choose you. Huh? Is he looking this way? Well, I guess you're the only one with fluffy hair. He's talking to me, isn't he? Yep, you're up. Just ignore him. It's cause you're cute. Let's just go with that. Oh. Come, come! Everyone's waiting! Well, I'm going. And your name is? Wait, you're a Kumara son? Um, yes. She's sleeping with me. Uh, uh, I'm sure you're, um, still grieving. My, um, deepest apologies. Oh, please don't worry. So, uh, do you have anything you'd like to share with us? Something to share. I have too many things. Uh, here, let me give you a question then. Think the Phantom Thieves are really Shujin students? Haru? Huh? Better sh. Oh? Man, he's going in for the kill. I mean, they are. Uh, your father's killers. We're all dying to know what Akechi kun was going to say about their true identities. So, are they from Shujin? What do you think, Okumura san? Um. Haru is in trouble. I need to change the subject. Do you have a boyfriend? Please date me! I've always loved you! I've always loved you, Haru! What? Now this is drama! <laughs> a boy caught in the throes of bittersweet youth! A stunning confession of love! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, way to go! I think it was him! It was me. That's why I stood up. So, this post-festival MC is a dumbass. <laughs> Is this a hot scoop? The hottest. But I'm a gentleman. It hurts my heart to bully such a sweet girl. 
Well, did you all enjoy our blushing beauty? Thank you very much, Okumura-san. Woo! Just yeah! See? Zikun always has a way to save everybody from Host harm. This festival party is finally over. That's why he's the best. It turned out to be more like an interview party, huh? He is the absolute best. I love Zikun. I still can't believe you said that. You were in trouble? I couldn't ignore you. You were in trouble. Huh? I gotta have your back. Right. At any rate, I'm not sure what I would have done without you. Thank you for saving me. You're a mysterious person, but you're so reliable. I think the two of us will get along quite well in the future. Just kidding. <laughs> Who I'm not knows kidding. What may lie ahead? For now, I'm worried about what happened with Akechi kun. But I have to say, my first post festival party was quite fun. Though, I guess it's my last too. Here, I'd like you to have this Sakura Amezaiku. What is that? I bought it earlier. It looks delicious. I can't wait to eat it. I don't even know what it is, but I can't wait. <laughs> now then, let's go home. Together or separate? You know, sometimes when you say let's go home, I get kind of confused. Hmm? Welcome home. You took off somewhere during the festival, huh? I tried to find you, but I gave up pretty quickly. Futaba? What are you doing here in front of the store? I needed to calm my brain. My thoughts were getting out of hand. Not just the catchy, but other stuff too. We're in deep trouble unless we can do something soon. But anyway, I was just thinking about going inside. So your timing is perfect. Let's go. Uh-oh. Sajiro has the Phantom Thieves calling card too. I wonder the how that's going to go. The has been causing quite a commotion lately. No countermeasure for the Phantom Thieves. The sorry state of the police. Destruction of safety. They're saying whatever they want. So, how's the investigation progressing? Any clues yet? Nothing that leads to a firm conviction yet. What's going on here? Didn't you say that you were sure about closing this case? And I thought I told you that failure won't be tolerated. <laughs> well, this is troublesome. If things continue at this rate, never mind a promotion. We'd have to let you go entirely. That's a little harsh, don't you think? But, sir... I had high expectations for you. But it seems this task was too much to handle for someone so young. We may need to reform the operation as well, since the selected personnel for this... Please, let me see this through to the end. This case is something that I've always... I know that you've been at this for a while now. Even before the police spared us the staff for it. If you can manage an arrest, I've made special arrangements so that you can question them personally. That's what you want, isn't it? The leadership of this country is about to change. We can't let this case carry over into their term. I'll make myself clear again. Failure isn't an option. We need results. I understand. You're allowed to take some bold measures if you need to. We need good results, no matter what. Oh, one more thing. If the unexpected happens to occur, contact me immediately. To you, sir? What is that I supposed said to mean? That failure isn't an option, didn't I? Yes. Everything is proceeding as planned. Look at this evil face. <laughs> and that evil laugh. And that evil bald head. How can you trust anything about this guy? If I had to pick a bad guy in this game, I'd be like, that guy. That bald no. spot-headed fuck. Uh-oh. Sojiro? I was cleaning up and found this. Oh, boy. 
<gasps> this is a calling card, right? I read about it online, too. Y you went into my room without my permission? I'll apologize as much as you want later. So, what is this? That's... Is it something to get flustered over? I knew it. This isn't just some game you're playing. Why aren't you saying anything? Because Not we're guilty? I mean, it was memorable. Explain. Explain. Is it something that you can't explain? Yes. Explain. Hey, if this keeps up, Futaba's. Don't blame Futaba. I'll explain everything. I got this, Futaba. You will, huh? Yeah, I will. I'll get right to the point. Is this a real one? Was a, well, a change of heart triggered in you? <laughs> How about it? Ever since Mom died, I, there was n no exit. I was trapped in, in a labyrinth of my heart. Aww. I knew I had to leave it, but I, I couldn't do it by myself. Futaba. Here, sit down. I can at least listen to what you have to say. The Phantom Thieves saved me. They stole my messed up heart. It's the same as Mom's research. They changed my cognition. <laughs> Seriously? <sighs> Wakaba's research about altering one's cognition. I wondered about it myself, too, but still. When did you notice? So you found out. Really? When she said she was going to go to the beach out of nowhere, and even the doctors had thrown in the towel. <laughs> At first, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. But as I kept watching the tabloid shows here day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. I thought your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. Wow! I'm still your guardian, you know. I'd never overlook such a drastic change in your behavior. Sojiro. But to think that Wakaba's research and the Phantom Thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. Back in the day, I used to be a government official. My job was to be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked at. It's around that time that I got to know her. She said something odd when we were out drinking, that she might soon die in an odd way. That is a weird thing to say. Who wouldn't take that as a joke? I just laughed it off. I would not take that as a joke. I'd be like, okay, I gotta protect you at all costs. You are not gonna die on me. But it happened exactly as she said. If anything were to happen to you, I'd feel like I let her down. There's something I want to ask you. Judging from your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? You should have known that Futaba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves as well. Is there a connection between you and them? The first incident of a change of heart was a teacher at your school. The kid who brought that painting here was a pupil of that artist who had a change of heart, wasn't he? You're good, Sajiro. And then, there's Futaba. These scandals always seem to find their way around you. What do you have to say? Sorry for keeping quiet. Nothing. You're sharp. You think this is a game? No, I was just giving you a compliment. These people are called criminals by the general public. Well, I didn't kill anybody. So Why you need to you calm down. Such dangerous people to Futaba. That's not true. I asked them. That's why he saved me. He stole my heart. Asked? Stole? 
Uh, um... Wait, are you saying that he's the one who changed your heart? Oh, great going, Futaba. So, he's not connected with the Phantom Thieves, but is one himself? Yeah, and you better calm down before I steal your heart. <laughs> You're pulling my leg, aren't you? This is no joke. Believe what you want. I'm a Phantom Thief. Are you serious? You really are a Phantom Thief? Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> so, Jiro. So, basically, I've been sheltering a Phantom Thief for the last six months? Yep. And on top of that, Futaba's involved too. What the hell? I know, man. It's a lot to take in. I want to find the culprit who killed my mom. Wait. It killed? She was killed. I remember it now. Stop this nonsense. Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? Didn't you know already? The way mom died wasn't normal. Didn't you notice that her research was stolen by someone? Sojiro! When she passed away, I did think it was odd. It was awfully fishy. But what could I do? All I was able to do was run from it all. And the outcome of that was me spending my retirement here. Also, the reason I took custody of you was... Me trying to selfishly atone for what happened to Wakaba. It's basically my fault that you got burdened with all this crap. It's not your fault, Sojiro. I acted all big, lectured, even yelled at you kids. And in the end, I'm the one being consoled. <laughs> I'm hopeless and a laughingstock, aren't I? That's not true. I'm sorry. That's not true. at fault <sighs> I see don't worry even if you are the real phantom thieves I have no intention of reporting or kicking you out what a guy <laughs> I mean who would believe such a story I love you Sojiro <laughs> unless they catch you red-handed it's impossible to explain that you're the phantom thieves Yep. Let me just say one thing, though. What's up? Immediately back out of a fight that you can't win. Why? What do you mean? Don't you get it? If, by chance, you pissed off the same guys that killed Wakaba, then they're not someone that kids like you can deal with. Listen to reason, all right? True, true. We're done talking about this. Good advice. Good That's heart to heart. I'm so hungry because I raised my voice so much. That was raising your voice? <sighs> At least we avoided the worst case scenario of being reported arbitrarily. Still, we should tell the others about what just happened. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> oh man, okay. That actually went way better than I thought. I thought all hell was gonna break loose. What? He knows everything? You gotta be fucking kidding. Wait, are you okay? Did he report you or anything? We likely wouldn't be receiving these messages if Z was not okay. I had a feeling that boss was no ordinary man. But he didn't recommend you turn yourself in, did he? I think in that case we can consider him a new ally. I'm more curious about what he mentioned to you. You mean how our enemy might be the same people who targeted Futaba's mother? Yes, she was killed by mental shutdown. The same method used by the culprit we pursue now. Wait a second though, didn't you say Boss had to run from it all? Does that mean someone was trying to stop the news from getting out? Who could do that? Who do you think the culprit could be? A government official? Someone very powerful. Has to be a government official. Ain't you letting your imagination run wild a bit? But it would make sense. Wait a sec, if you're right, then wouldn't the police be working for him too? That's not impossible. This is getting too big for me to even think about. Can we really win this? We're gonna win, no matter what. That concludes the speech given by Representative Masayoshi Shido, who may be forming a new party. 
We now resume our coverage of the Phantom Thieves, the suspects for Mr. Okumura's death and others. The police have designated the Phantom Thieves as the country's most wanted fugitives. Goddamn! And have decided to reward anyone with information leading to the capture of the Phantom Thieves. Don't do it, Sajiro! Don't you do it! Look. Those who provide information will be offered a reward of 30 million yen. And considering the high amount, it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. Don't do it, Sajiro! Reward money will be supplied by the police and the families of the victims. Further, if I report you to the police and they arrest you, I supposedly get 30 million yen for it. <laughs> Shit. That's insane. You gonna report us? I know he's not. I hope you understand the situation you're in. Even people who didn't have an interest before will be on the lookout for the phantom themes. And it'll happen every day, even at school. Why did this happen? I'm sorry. There was no choice. I didn't know it would. You know what? Just own up and say I'm sorry. This isn't about me. Well, how do I put this? I'm sorry I didn't realize it. It's also my responsibility that this happened. All I can do now is give you shelter. Aw, he's so sweet. Just don't become desperate and do something reckless, all right? Okay, I know. Don't worry. Believe in me. I won't sell you out. As long as you're here, there's nothing to worry about. What a guy. I feel bad about what we've done to the chief. I'm responsible too. Oh, my goodness. Every character in this game is so good. Did you see Except that this reward? guy. He's so bad. <laughs> Perhaps we put too much pressure on them. With this, the Phantom Thieves have become public enemy number one. How has nobody tapped his phone yet? There's so much incriminating evidence that he has when he has this conversation on the phone. <laughs> exactly. That evil laugh, man. That will be when their curtain falls. I'm saying, this guy, he's clear as day, evil as shit, and even Sai doesn't hey, know great. that he's doing all this under her nose. I can't believe how big the bounty is. We should look for the Phantom Thieves ourselves. Akechi suggested they go to this school, right? Yeah, but let's not. There's been too many mental shutdowns as it is. It'll probably be the end of us if we start sniffing around now. But 30 million yen, man! Just let me dream a little! We're wanted now. And the reward's 30 million yen? What is this, a comic book? <laughs> it feels so unrealistic, I can't help but laugh. We are finally being treated as actual criminals. I'm positive now. Remember all of those what-ifs I mentioned before? All of this was truly set up. How President Okumura ranked first, the fad before that, even Mejet. It was all to make the Phantom Thieves famous. On top of that, we were lured to target Okumura. Yeah, the enemy likely planned to lay the blame on us from the start, after we gained popularity. Then what about everything we've done until now? Are the people whose hearts we changed and thought were corrupt actually not? No. Because of Yusuke and I, the Matarame and Kaneshiro cases were coincidental. Wasn't that the case with Kamashita too? Considering what happened with the rankings, only the previous target would have been used to lure us. What a cheap trick to use. Cheap? It's nothing of the sort. There's the fake Medjad and the site's altercation. They might have even engineered the fat around us. So much time and effort has been put into this. President Okumura probably wasn't their only target. Perhaps they intend to place all blame of past and future psychotic breakdowns on our group. That's why I said we shouldn't jump into things so carelessly. What, so this is my fault? Even you agreed to it in the end. And there was that thing with Haru at the time. How are we supposed to ignore that, huh? I'm sorry. This was all because I one-sidedly decided that my father was a criminal. All I could think about was my fiancé. If I had only been able to cope with it more calmly... Haru? It's not Haru's fault. I should have spoken up too when Principal Kobayakawa died. 
damn it! This is bullshit! God! Fuck! Oh, calm down, Ryuji. Calm down! Ah! It's gonna be okay! Ryuji! Taking out your frustration on things doesn't help anyone! This dude's gonna bust a vein in his forehead! Hey. What do you think? Why did we lose? What did we do wrong? They baited us. We lost sight of our goal. I don't know. They baited us for sure. It's probably because we weren't acting like ourselves. Agreed. At the time, we only cared about the opinion of the general public. Yeah, that really is it. I was so caught up in making a name for ourselves. I'm such an idiot! I became a phantom thief because I hated those same kinds of adults! Right. To think we had begun clinging on to fame and a place to belong that our eyes had become clouded. We were meant to be the righteous phantom thieves, but we lost sight of our original cause. I'm so irritated with myself. Makoto. Damn it! I know that we've been set up, and that I was a complete idiot too, but still... It's so damn frustrating! Of course I want to do something about this! Yeah. We'll be in deep water at this rate. However, we have no idea who we're up against. And whether they're an individual or an organization. Furthermore, they must be in a position of power. Or have powerful backers if they can go so far. Are we really a match for this? Should we... end this now? I mean, things might get worse for everyone. Hey, what should we do? We'll overcome this. We haven't lost yet. Let's turn the tables. Yeah, running away with our tails between our legs is exactly what they want. That's the same as dumping our aesthetics again, because we only care about our hides. I take back what I just said. I can't let it end like this. Absolutely not like this. Yep. Looks like we're settled on what we want to do. All that's left is how we go about it. Yeah. Yeah, we're the Phantom Thieves. We can't go out like a little bitch. We are going to have the best plan ever. And we are going to turn those tables. And we are going to be right back on top. Watch. Yo. Hey, it's me. Uh... Uh, about me yelling earlier. Being framed and the added bounty, it's all felt like bullshit. I lost it, I'm sorry. I don't mind. I know how you feel. Huh? You too? It is confusing. We're wanted criminals now. <sighs> Maybe I haven't changed at all since that time we went up against Kamashita. I wanted to be a phantom thief because I thought even someone like me could be a hero. It made me so happy to be depended on. Guess it all went straight to my head. And again. I thought I could do anything if it was for justice, but that'd make me no different from our targets. I called them shitbags, but I must be the shittiest of shitbags. I can't even joke about it. You can still change. Things will turn around. Are you going to give up? You can still change. <laughs> You're right. I can start by changing who I am now. Thanks, Z. I feel like I can think straight now. Oh, I scared Haru and Futaba, didn't I? I'll have to apologize to them soon. See ya. See ya. Who's hitting me up now? I got a message from Akechi Kun. He wants us to gather at LeBlanc tomorrow after school. Who does he think he is trying to boss us around like that? Tomorrow? That's sudden. This is directly after the reward announcement. There must be a calculated reason for this too. We'll be okay, right? We'll manage. Yeah, we're going to overcome this together. Regardless, I don't want anyone disturbing our pace anymore. Let's go about this calmly. Well, see you all tomorrow. Mm. We've reached a crucial moment. There's no point fretting about it now, though. Let's just stay calm and wait for tomorrow. Okay, so I guess we got to make a decision now. I thought we'd have more time to actually think about what we want to do. But it's clear as day about okay. what we're going to do. We can't let things end here. We need to figure out who's behind everything. All right, guys, I'm going to end this episode of Persona 5 here. Akechi wants to discuss things at LeBlanc tomorrow. We are going to figure all that out in the next episode. If you want to see it as soon as possible, make sure you give this video one big fat like. 
And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!